is that you didn't get a chance to spend as much time around the Earth as you'd like, because there's an awful lot of very interesting things to see. Three, two, one, ignition. We confirm ignition and the thrust is go. You guys are really hauling the mail out of there. Oh, you better believe it. Like we're climbing straight out, Joe. It's a fantastic sight. It's like we were shot straight up. Uh, you're going about 6,000 feet a second. Our present altitude is now about 3,000 miles. Spacecraft moving at nearly 35,000 feet per second. These three crew members are traveling faster than man has ever flown before. There's not much sensation of what's really happening except that we're looking at the computer and the computer is adding up the velocity. And suddenly, we really knew that we were really traveling. And shoot, when that engine lit off, it was on for a long time. Shut down. But it really hit us when it stopped when we turned around and looked at the Earth. Suddenly, the Earth had started to shrink. Hello, I just didn't you'd have to see this planet to believe it. Uh, you guys don't uh, get too excited and forget what your job is down there. We're ready for what we we're about to see. Let me stay among the stars. Let me sleep with the rain like all a Jupiter in love. In other words, please be true. In other words. I love you. We had a little tape recorder on board, which you could listen to the music. Uh, we were allowed to carry a personal cassette on there so you could play the music. Mine was country music. Hi, this is Buck Owens and the Buckaroos. We came down to the studio and we thought we'd put together a little thing that you could take along with you on your trip. Now, you know, when you get back, they're probably going to put you in the movies. So the first thing we're going to do for you is to uh, play a little song called Act Naturally. It goes like this. They're going to put me in the movies. They're going to make a big star out of me. Where well, we'll make a scene about a man that's sad and lonely. And all I got to do is act naturally. Well, I'll bet you I'm going to be a big star. You might win an Oscar, you can't never tell The movies are gonna make me a big star Cause I can play the part so well Well, I hope you'll come to see me in the movie And I know that you're gonna play the scene mm, The biggest fools ever hit the big time And all I gotta do is act naturally by the way, gang, you know we're making this tape, and they're, they're going to the moon. They're on the way to the moon right now. Oh. Anybody up there read me? This is Houston. You don't think of it as Texas or the United States. You really think of it as Earth. The three things that I associated with Earth were people and green trees and fresh water. This is something a little different for me. My name is Merle Haggard, and this is my band, The Strangers. And uh, I hope that we will be able to do something you'll enjoy hearing on your way to the moon. And, of course, we hope that you come back. But we want you to leave this tape there, okay? We want this tape to be out of sight. <laughs> When our dream world finds us, these hard times are gone. We'll laugh and count our blessings in a mansion all our own. If we both pull together, 
Tomorrow sure to come and Someday we'll look back and say It was fun you get ready to eat, they'll say right on there, Command Module Pilot, Day 3, Meal 2. And so you, you take that packet out, and you may have two drinks and three or four different types of food in there. So you've got to find a spot to stick these, or they're going to float off. And then you've got to get the water gun. you got to mix up the drinks and mix up the food and, and knead them around and not let everything float off in the interim. Someday we'll look back and say it was fun. Someday when our dream world finds us this hard time. The only bad part about zero gravity and Apollo was going to the bathroom. We had a very crude system. For your feces, it was a bag. And you put this bag in the right position. And so you go, but the only thing is that nothing goes to the bottom of the bag in zero gravity. Everything floats. So you've got this bag, and then the problem is getting it off and closing up the bag, making sure everything's still in the bag. Someday we'll look back and say that a good time on the way to the moon, didn't we? standing by at this time to receive the down. first television transmission from the spacecraft. Houston, we're now showing you a view of the Earth through the telephoto lens. This transmission is coming to you approximately halfway between the moon and the Earth. It makes you realize just what you have back there on Earth. The Earth from here is a grand oasis of the big fastest of space. imagining is if I'm a, some lonely traveler from another planet, would I land on the blue or the brown part of the Earth? Okay, uh, world, hold on to your hand. I'm going to turn you upside down. Now the spacecraft at the present time is in a slow roll as part of the passive thermal control program to maintain temperatures. You have to literally just pinch yourself and ask yourself the question silently, do you really know where you are at this point in time and space and in reality and in existence? When you look out the window and you're looking back uh, at the most beautiful star in the heavens, the most beautiful because it's, it's the one we understand and we know it's where home, it's humanity, it's people, family, love, life. And besides that, it is beautiful. You can see from pole to pole and across oceans and continents and you can watch it turn and there's no strings holding it up and it's moving in a blackness that is almost beyond conception. Right, how's that uh, tape recorder? Is the RPM up to uh, nominal? Yeah, it uh, works pretty good here at 3RG. It works better than it does down here on the ground. We're ready for the news now. Okay, let's see. The Beatles have announced they will no longer perform as a group. The quartet is reported to have made in excess of a half billion dollars during their short musical career. However, uh, rumors that they will use this money to start their own space program uh, are false. That's about it for news. A recap of the top ten teams did yesterday. Ohio State beat Purdue 42-14. to Texas beat TCU 69 to 7. Tennessee lost to Mississippi. Final score on that one was 38 to nothing. Notre Dame won over Georgia Tech last night 38 to 20. And of course Purdue lost to Ohio State. When the sunlight shines through the blackness of space, it's black. 
but I was in sunlight and I was able to look at this blackness. I mean, what?